state lawmakers on both sides of the aisle know our criminal justice system needs work, especially when it comes to deciding which suspects need to stay in jail before their trial. Bail reform has been a very contentious battle in our roundhouse for years now, and some state lawmakers want to give you an opportunity to weigh in. A House committee advanced a proposal on a constitutional amendment this morning that would rework some of the state's bail laws. Griffin Rushton joins us now live from the state capitol. Griffin, it was a constitutional amendment on bail reform that put us where we are today. So what would this proposal change? Well, the bill's sponsors say this is all about increasing options. Right now, the state constitution says all suspects must be released before trial unless they're found to be a danger to the community. Now, the Republican lawmakers behind this proposal believe that system is not always keeping the most dangerous people behind bars. So here's what they want to change. First, state lawmakers would get to decide which conditions or crimes should warrant pretrial detention. Second, district and magistrate judges would be allowed to make detention decisions without a formal request from prosecutors. And lastly, the proposed amendment would expand the types of suspects who can be held before trial. Right now, only people charged with felonies can be detained. Clovis Representative Andrea Reeb is one of the bill's sponsors. She says this proposal is what New Mexicans thought they were voting for a few years ago when bail reform was last put on the ballot and believes they should still be a part of this decision. The communities in New Mexico are not happy with the way things are going and they, they should have a say in it. So I, I don't understand any opposition to why they would not want to put this back on the ballot so that the everyday citizen can decide if this is the right thing for them. Now, this proposal comes as state lawmakers take a serious look at the pretrial detention system. The House Judiciary Committee, where this proposal is headed next, heard from court administrators today about the so-called revolving door of criminals that are arrested, released, and commit violent crimes. I would just like to observe that in recent campaign, there was lots of uh, rhetoric about a revolving door and catch and release. And um, I would just like to observe that the data you presented uh, do not, does not paint a picture that that's what's actually happening. That we have a system that's largely effective, that when district attorneys move to detain a violent uh, defendant, they are largely successful. Committee members also noted that what happens after suspects are released also needs to be addressed, and they know there is likely not one single solution to fully address all these concerns. Yeah, Tessa? if we, we know anything, we know there's not a single solution in New Mexico. Griffin, thanks so much.